next thing what we've got to learn is something called as open interest now according to me anyone who wants to become a derivative analyst he or she should understand the entire concept of open interest extremely well because across the globe all derivative analysts make the most use of this particular topic which is open interest to make their judgments with respect to their expectation of the market movement what's an open interest open interest means the number of contracts number of contracts open in the market open in the market which have not been squared up number of contracts open in the market which have not been squared up let's look at this example you see a buys one option and b sells one option now there is one buyer who's bought and there is one seller who's sold buyer seller makes one contract and hence the open interest which is open in the market which has not been squared up is one now we see a new entity C buys five option and D which is again a new entity sells five. So you have one contract which was opened last time. You have plus five other contracts which open in, op, are open in the market and hence the open interest in the market now is six. Now pay attention to the third data which might be a little confusing. A sells his one option. So A was standing in buy position a sells his one option okay that means from buyer he becomes the seller and he is squaring up his position D buys one option contract now understand D was seller of five options and now he is buying one so D is also squaring up one position A is squaring up one position D is squaring up one position and hence one contract gets less in the market and now the open interest will be five contracts Look at the last one also. E, which is a new entity, buys five options from C. Now, C was buyer of five options. So now C is selling five options. So C is squaring up the position. C is squaring up the position. But C, with whom he is squaring up the position, is a new entity. Is a new entity. And hence, actual contracts have not got squared up but you've had a new entity which has come and bought five options from a older entity and hence you will not have the open interest dropping i hope so far the concept of open interest is clear but from the analytical point of view what i want to understand is what we'll cover now how do you analyze open interest data so let's say for example we talk here about the stock price we're talking about the open interest data and then we talk about our analysis let's say you were trying to analyze the derivative data given to you and you understood that the stock price has went up you also saw the open interest going up what will be your analysis now pay attention to this entire concept let's say yesterday you saw the stock trading at 100 rupees where the number of contracts open in the market were 1 lakh today when you are trying to analyze the data you saw that the stock price today is 120 rupees and the open interest in the market is 2 lakh contracts now what we've seen is exactly this what we've quoted we saying stock price went up open interest went up so we saying stock price from 100 went up to 120 open interest went up from 100 from 1 lakh to 2 lakh now what does this show this shows that there were 1000 1 lakh contracts outstanding yesterday number of contracts outstanding has increased by 100% from 1 lakh to 2 lakh that means these new 1 lakh contracts that got added pushed the price up by 20 rupees 
the new contracts that got added pushed the price up by 20 rupees hence we make a conclusion that the new one lakh contracts that got added pushed the price up and hence they were bullish so we are now expecting that the market will be bullish and hence your analysis will be that the stock will also go up okay now what is the second thing that can happen to the market let's say you now anal you now see that the stock price has fallen but you see that the open interest has gone up what does this mean so let's say yesterday you saw the stock at 100 rupees you saw the open interest was 1 lakh today you see that the open interest has moved to 2 lakh and the stock is now trading at 80 rupees we do the same analysis we say that because the stock has gone up because the open interest has increased by 1 lakh shares or 1 lakh lots we are saying 1 lakh new lots that got added actually got the price down okay so the new 1 lakh shares got added which means that the market forced the price to go down and hence we will often we will be of an understanding that if we see such a situation where stock price is going down and open interest is going up our analysis is that the next day the stock should also go down case number three where we see that the stock price is going up but we see that the open interest is dropping what do we make out of this situation so yesterday we saw the stock at 100 open interest as 1 lakh today we saw that the stock price went up to 120 but we saw the open interest dropping which means we saw 20,000 we saw 20,000 people square up their position we saw 20,000 people squaring up their position now because of this squaring up we saw that the price went up okay for because of squaring up the price went up which means that I was buying when I wanted to square up because of which the price went up I was buying when I wanted to square up because of which the price went up means my initial position was that I am I was standing short on the market so i was standing short on the market now i thought that the market won't go below this now i thought that the market won't go below this so i started squaring up my position okay by buying and hence the stock went up okay this is called short covering this does not give us any analysis but only says that the market might have reached a bottom it might might not fall below this you don't make any analysis as to whether this is positive for the market or negative for the market the analysis is that it is short covering people were standing short they think it might not fall below this and hence they started covering their shorts by going long but this does not mean you also start going long on the market the last thing you need to understand is that you saw that the markets were dropping and the stocks were also dropping now what does this mean this means yesterday the stock was 100 rupees open interest was 1 lakh now you saw that the stock has dropped you saw that the open interest has also dropped so can I say 20,000 people squared up? 20,000 people squared up because of which the stock went down. So what did 20,000 people do to square up? 20,000 people sold to square up. If they are selling to square up, what was their actual position? Long. This is called long covering. Which means whenever you see this situation people are anticipating that the stocks might not go above this 
this does not give you any other understanding of whether you should be going long or short now the challenge is that you've understood but where do you get the open interest data from it's very simple all that you do is go to national stock exchange website so you'll go there so go to nseindia.com nseindia.com you click on equity derivatives click on any that you want to know let's say reliance industries so reliance industries limited just click on that now over here do you see over here you understand whether the stock has gone up or not or down and over here you understand the change in open interest so we're saying open interest today is 85 lakh 7250 contracts change in open interest 55,000 contracts have got added if it if it was squaring up or if the open interest has gone down they would have put minus over here minus so change in open interest is 0.65 percent so we're saying that the stock is falling over here you see that the stock is falling and over here you see that the open interest has gone up by 55,000 contracts so stock down open interest up is your case stock down stock down here stock down open interest up is your case your analysis is that stock might fall let's look at one more example let's say let's say TCS Tata Consultancy Services over here you see that the stock has gone up and you see the change in open interest this is positive this is positive which means 211,250 more contracts got added so you're saying stock went up open interest is going up so what's your analysis stock went up open interest going up your analysis is that TCS might go up now understand this is a very preliminary basic understanding for you this is not just this much information that you require to understand the stock price movement you have to kind of validate this particular data with the data in the past and it's a little extensive understanding but at this particular level for you to understand this much is also a great thing okay I hope I hope you've understood so far let me search for an example where we see some other case as well so let's talk about ONGC we might see some other example there okay so we saying okay this is all this open interest is also positive okay let's try and understand what it says so we, this is this is the same example right like reliance you see the stock price dropping and the open interest going up I'm looking at an example where we can get open interest going down let's say Unitech Uh, open interest up any other example that I can think of Sun Pharma ah uh, yeah here we get so we saying Sun Pharma stock going up stock going up but you see minus you see minus here which means that the open interest has dropped so we're saying the stock going up and the open interest has dropped saying stock going up open interest has dropped somewhere we see some short covering over here i hope you've clearly understood open interest analysis